Right, what I'd like to do in this video is just go over how to plot a double integral. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go over how double integrals work or how to evaluate them. I will assume you know some background about it. What this video might do is just to show you how to plot something like this. It might help you visualize what a double integral is. But for the most part, I'll assume you know what it means to have a double integral and how the limits work and so on. So let's suppose I want to say plot this double integral. I want to see or want to visualize what this double integral represents. So it says integrate this function with respect to y and x with the y limits being these two and the x limits being these two. Now if you know how they work you would know that x squared plus y squared is the surface you're integrating. So a double integral in this case represents the volume under the curve bounded by whatever limits we have here and the surface x the x and y axis. So in this case what I've done is I've plotted the surface x squared plus y squared so that's the surface you see here and the limits in this case what they represent is a unit circle so it's a unit circle on the xy plane it's a circle of radius 1 and that's what this blue circle is and the region that has been filled in is representing the volume given by this inti double integral here and it's saying that the volume of this uh, filled in part, the filled in volume is actually equal to pi over 2 whatever units cubed. So what we'll do is let's see how we can actually plot something like this. So the first thing is I want to plot the actual curve itself. Okay, So uh, let's say to plot the curve what I can do is use plot 3D so let's increase the font size a bit. So what I'll say is I want to plot the curve x squared plus y squared and let's say from something like x equals minus 2 to plus 2 and say the y values from 2 to 2 or from minus 2 to 2. Now I can't simply do filling on this one because that would fill the entire region and putting x equals minus 1 to minus 2, minus 1 to plus 1 won't really give you a unit circle either. So what we'll do is, so I've got this function first. What I'm then going to do is plot this same function, do another plot of the region where uh, region represented by this unit circle here. So what I'm going to do is take another plot of the same function. So I so this will produce the same plot again but what I'd like to do is this time say define where this function exists so let's say if I use the option region function function for uh, let's say x y x y z and I want x squared plus y squared x squared plus y squared to be less than 1. Right, so what it's done is I've plotted the same function from the same range of x and y values but now I've told Mathematica to only plot the function for the part where x squared plus y squared is less than 1 and this region function is one way to do it. So what I'd like to do is now if I use filling on this it will only fill the region that has been plotted here so I could say uh, filling and let's say if you want to fill it up to the x and y plane you can simply say filling 0 and that's what it shows here. Now what I'd like the filling to have is if you want the filling to be of a different color you can use filling style and if I was to say change the opacity I could say is let's say 0 0.8 and that's what it shows me here. If you want to change the color then you can add the color here all, uh, the color here as well. So if I was to combine both of these, what that would show me is the plot of, so the plot 3D, I'll call this one plot number 1. And maybe this one, I will name this fill plot 1. And if I want to combine the two, what I can do is to say show uh, plot 1, comma fill plot 1. So what it's showing me right now is the actual curve, uh, the actual surface here from minus 2 to plus 2 
but then also the part that has been filled in here. Now initially when I showed you the example I also showed there was a blue circle around here which was showing the region where we have actually plotted. Now one way you can add a function or you can add a circle to this is using so what I want to draw is a unit circle on the XY plane but not just as a solid but just as a single straight just as a circle so one way you can do that is if I was to use the parametric plot 3d function so let me make that a little bigger so the way parametric plot works is you first say what your x y and z are in terms of a different parametric variable so I want the x coordinate to be equal to sine t y coordinate to be cos t. I want this plotted on the x and y plane so I want z to be equal to 0 and let's just say t goes from 0 to 2 pi. So this should produce me a circle that lies on the x y plane. Now if you want to see the x and y axis what you can do is say axis label and just say automatic so it will show oh. right so maybe I'll state it explicitly so this is x, y, and z. Okay, so my x-axis is this one here. So I have my x and y axis, so I can see that's a unit circle, and it lies on the x-y plane, where the z value is equal to 0. So if I was to call this my, let's say, just give it some name, let's say line plot 1 okay so I say come on line plot 1 yep so it shows me that circle on the xy plane the actual curve and then the part that has also been filled in so what we plotted is the actual function here using this and then plotted the same function again but within this unit circle and use that to fill this region in